got him. What? What is that? What? What the? F nope. He can't go all the way. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the man. She's always got some glitch plays for you guys today. I'm going to be showing you guys a new scheme. It's kind of an updated version on something that I put out earlier in the year, uh, but it's super glitchy. And if you run it right, it's one of the funnest offenses, one of the hardest offenses in the game to stop. The formation itself is the single back bunch TE. And I already showed you guys a couple of plays out of this. Now, if you didn't catch that video, don't worry about it because I'll go over these plays again. So let's go and let's put these plays in our audibles. There's five plays in this scheme altogether. Uh, the number one running play would probably be the power fake jet the zone Woo! fake jet obviously works really well off of that because a lot of people are going to follow that uh, crossing receiver once the motion starts uh, the cross drag beats just about any defense in the game and the stick is a very good uh, cover to one play touchdown so those are the top four plays I would have in my audibles but the play I'm gonna start this video off with which is the reason I'm redoing this video is the stretch alert bubble this is one of the glitchiest plays in the game I'm also going to put uh, some tight ends at these wide receiver spots these other wide receivers these blockers because they're really not going to do much for this particular play. So we're just gonna have all of our blocking tight ends in those spots, and we're gonna run this play uh, against random defenses. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com. If you guys wanna get your mud team up and support this channel at the same time, all you have to do is shop there, check them out, link in the description below, and just discount code MONEY to get 3% off what's already the cheapest coins on the market. So now, as far as this play goes, it's a really good run play as is. I mean, if you come out in a man coverage look, which is what this essentially looks to be, I mean, I could just hand it off to this stretch play and just take this all game. I mean, there's no cornerback out here, so I can run this as is, but that's not really the point of this particular play. Now, this particular play, it's an RPO play. Typically, you cannot flip RPO plays, and recently I found out that this particular RPO play, you can flip, which doesn't look like a huge advantage. I mean, obviously, it'll help with the run plays. I mean, you know, we have um, you know blocking, more blocking in this direction because you have three wide receivers, so it's really good to run it in that direction, but what really makes this a glitchy series of plays is the fact that you can still throw it to the bubble screen, which which here isn't even shown correctly in the diagram. The X route is not the bubble screen. The B route is the bubble screen. But watch what happens. All I really have to do is wait for Lamar Jackson to go to the point where he's handing it off, and I'm gonna get this really yeah. cheesy glitch uh, pitch animation, which you can see basically just warps the ball five yards ahead of the, de of the defense. Now, I didn't get the greatest catch and run there. I actually think I'm gonna move the ball over because obviously catch and run space is gonna be big. So let's go and let's move the ball over. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run that again. Like I said, you won't get, you can, if you throw it right away, you're just gonna get the typical bubble screen. That's not really what I wanna do here. I have to wait until he extends this hand to hand off to the running backs. It's not necessarily gonna be a home run every time, but ultimately you can have a lot of success with this uh, if you, you know, get uh, get the right look. So this right here, wait for that pitch. I can just basically sprint outside. You're guaranteed to get that five to 10 yards just about every single time. I don't even know what defense we're looking at right now. That's the thing. I hit a uh, random defense. As you can see here, we're just having a lot of success. I really need 14 to do his job and seal that edge a little better. As you can see right there, we make one guy miss, we're getting, you know, 25, ripping off a big play there. So obviously you can see the benefit of the tight ends. And then, like I said, you just hit that lightning quick pitch. I mean, look how far away I was by the time my guy catches the ball. So this play is all about timing. You really have to watch for Lamar to extend the ball. The second he puts that ball in his hand to hand it to the running back, that's when you hit the B button. And then you get this lightning quick pitch out, which you can see is much faster. He doesn't, he doesn't take the time to wind up um, to throw the ball like he typically would. He would have to stop and he had to wind up and throw the ball. So this pitch, this shovel pass right here, eventually just warps the ball out. And then look at that, there's nothing out here. So to me, the fact that you have the running option and the passing option on the same side really just messes with, with the defense's AI. And it's just super cheesy looking play because they're not really gonna know. Your opponent's not gonna know what to do with this particular play. As you can see right here, we get outside of that finally. Uh, we get a very, 
very big play, almost almost 50 yard, a 40 yard play right there. Now there's multiple advantages to be had here. Like you could flip this play and run it behind the three wide receivers, which ultimately I think is a really good look because you could see that defender hesitated because they were playing the screen. I'll go to the replay to show that. On the play like this, I probably would have just wanted to run it to the open side of the field where there's no defenders. But you can see because of this bubble screen, watch how this defender slows down waiting to react to the bubble screen. That there is a huge advantage. He basically comes in, he could just shoot right in at the, at the running back if he knew it was going to be a handoff but because of this uh you know misdirection here because of the bubble screen he has to slow down and wait and that eventually just basically lets me get outside and get a very big play and then you have the option to just run it like right here i mean this is looks like an all-out blitz Look at how we just have so much success here just running it behind the three receivers slash two tight ends. And we have a very explosive run play as well. So to me, the pitch is definitely something that's going to keep your opponent honest. Uh, and it's probably the funnest thing to do. But without a doubt, the run play might be just as broken and consistent. As you see right here, once again, defender slows down. He has to react to the bubble screen. So I would pretty much always do the pitch because the whole point of this is it's just a really fun play. Now, naturally, your opponent's going to start uh, adjusting for that. They're either going to start shifting their cover Coverage. They're going to start shifting their defense, shifting their line. Uh, they're going to start usury in this direction because both of the plays go in the same direction. They go towards the bunch, whether it's the pass or the run. So, I mean, it's going to get your opponent's attention. Like I said, especially that pitch. That pitch is going to stand out. They're going to be like, what the hell is that? And they're going to lose their mind trying to figure out how to stop it. So, there's a ton of natural counters. There's a passing counter, and then there's a running counter. The passing counter is probably my favorite, the cross drag. All you really have to do on this play is streak the A route, and pretty much every route will get open on the opposite side. So if they're paying too much attention to that side, you can basically just go the opposite direction and drive your opponent insane. So if you notice your opponent starts shifting their coverage in that direction, you have a number of good counters. Uh, but the passing play is probably my favorite. So we'll go and we'll do that one more time. Like I said, the B route or the C route should get open. Or not the C route, the, uh, the Y route should get open against just about any defense in the game, man or zone. Those are really the two plays that you're watching. Although I don't think I have a good a receiver running it here with Bateman because you can see on that particular play, he must have got jammed up all crazy or something because it took him forever to get across so a better uh, route running you know that should that would be the money route you i want to have marcus Hollywood brown on this particular route this time and then you have a really good run play in the opposite direction too with the wide receiver power fake jet and i think this is a pass play uh but ultimately it doesn't matter this is another play where once again it's going to go to the exact same guy you got the fake and then you basically got your end around to hollywood brown uh and you can see right here once again a very explosive play in the opposite direction uh that receiver becomes a really good blocker let's go and let's watch the replay one more time this first guy here as you can see it looks like it's a fake to him i guess it was a handoff but he becomes a really good lead blocker he typically uh becomes the the, the guy you want to follow as you can see right here he gets down the field gets enough of this guy to basically spring me to the outside and then he continues down i mean he goes on all the way to the safety level so ultimately a very good series of blocking when it comes to this run play then you also have the zone fake jet. So if your opponent starts following this uh, this motion receiver, you can go the opposite direction and still have a very big play uh, going the opposite way. So you really have, you know, that's the whole point of this series of plays. You have plays where, you know, they're, they're, they're just dramatically stretching your opponent's user across the field in both directions, whether it's the cross drag and you're going dramatically in one direction uh, to the left or right. Uh, the same thing with the power fake jet, the zone fake jet. They're just huge plays to both sides, uh, which really makes this a very hard uh, offensive scheme to to try to stop so i'm gonna end the video there if you guys want to see more out of this formation or more out of this playbook hit the like button let me know in the comment section if you want to watch the original video where i go into some of these plays in a little bit more detail it should be popping up above my head right now all i have to do is click the little icon uh, and you guys can check that out other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below Thank you.